Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio, and in this edition of the Base Game Tutorial Series, we're going to be looking at player movement. Now, this is going to be specifically player movement for a three-lane type runner game. So we'll be able to move left and right and in the center lane. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. So here we're back in Unity and we want to set up our player movement. Now with this, you can have all kinds of different type of movement for this character, but I'm going to have this character set up on three lanes. So there's going to be a center lane and then a left position and a right position. So let's go ahead and with Playmaker, we'll set this up. So currently I have Playmaker, the Playmaker editor window up. If you don't have this up, you can always click on Playmaker. Playmaker Editor, and then once that pops up, then you can just drag it down or stick it in the UI wherever you want to. For me, I like it down here towards the bottom. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is I have the player in an empty game object called Player. And I wanna go ahead and just tag this so we can have that set up from the beginning, but we'll use that later on. But by default, there's a tag right here and every game object that you create by default is untagged. So let's go ahead and tag that as player. So I'm gonna tag that as player. We're not gonna specifically use that right now, but we're gonna use it later on. It's good to have that set up right from the very beginning. Okay, so let's go ahead and start up our character movement. Now I'm gonna set this up specifically with the keyboard, but we're also going to include swipe gestures as well. We can test it with our computer, but then we can also use it for mobile. So what I wanna do is I wanna set up a game manager and that's where I'm gonna apply all my Playmaker FSMs, okay? So let's go ahead and create a new empty game object and I'm gonna call this game manager. And then with that, I'm gonna go ahead and create another game object. So this is gonna be inside of it and I'm gonna call this player. Okay, so I have that game object. It has no physical dimensions in the game itself. It's just a, a game object that's there that we can attach a Playmaker FSM to. Okay, so I have this set up. Let's go ahead and add a new FSM. So I've got my Playmaker window, add FSM. And I'm gonna go ahead and first name the FSM because we're gonna have multiple FSMs um, specific to the player. So we'll go ahead and title this one first. So we'll call this player movement and hit return. And then now this FSM is called player movement. So let's go ahead and go down here in player movement and we'll call the state. This is the first state that is played when the game starts. We're gonna call this listen for input, okay? Now it's not doing anything just yet. All we've done is just name the state. So what is it we want to listen to? Well, we want to listen for um, both swipe gestures and keyboard input. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up with the keyboard input first, and then we'll add the swipe gesture after. So let's go ahead and we want to detect get key down, okay? So get key, so I'm typing that in my actions editor, and get key down, so when we hit a key down, we want to do something. So I'm gonna go ahead and get key down. And what key is it we wanna to listen to? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and listen to the left arrow. So I select the left arrow. And then what is it I wanna do? I need to go to another state that's going to then move my character. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we need to send an event. Now we currently don't have one, but we wanna go ahead and create one. So we're gonna create a new event and I'm gonna call this move left. So we'll create an event and it says, hey, you don't have that transition set up. Let's go ahead and click on that red box. And here we go, we now have move left. Now this doesn't do anything for us just yet. This is just the, the link to a transition. So we're gonna control click or right click and then drag off of this. And you can see I can now drag an arrow out. I'm gonna go ahead and let go. And this creates a new state. So in this state, what is it we wanna do? Well, we wanna move our character left. So I'm gonna hit move, I'm gonna type in move left, hit return. And now the state's named move left, but this still doesn't do anything for us. Now, we, there's a lot of different ways that we can move our character. Now, because I'm moving this character only you know, a certain distance on the screen, what I'm gonna do is do a tween, okay? So Playmaker already has animation setup that allows us to move our character 
from one point to another and it animates it in between those two positions. So here we're going to go and do a tween. So I'm going to type in tween. And we've got a lot of different tween types here. We've got tween audio, tween camera, tween floats. But in this case, we want to tween the position of our character from the place where it's at over just a little bit to the left slightly. So I'm going to go ahead and click on, double click on tween position. And then it's going to say, hey, what game object do you want to tween? Well, I'm not going to tween this player game manager object. I want to tween the actual player itself. So instead of use owner, I'm going to choose specific game object. And then it's showing it red saying, hey, we need to choose a game object. So let's go ahead and take the player that actually contains the character and drag that down into that window. OK, so here we have some options. We have the options of where we're going to move it from and then also where we're moving it to. So I'm going to move the character from the current position and then I'm going to move to a new position and I need to determine what that position is. So here's an easy way of kind of trying to figure something out. So I can select the character and then I'm, I'm gonna move the character over to see how far that is. And let's go ahead and just say it's a half a unit, negative 0.5. So to move in the left of the X is a negative 0.5. Okay, so that's where we wanna move. So let's go back to our player script here. In tween position, we're gonna move the character negative 0.5. Then the next thing I need to choose is how long do I want that animation to take? One second is probably a little bit on the long side, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this to be maybe 0.4. We can always go and play with that a little bit later. Let's go ahead and give this a test. So I'm gonna hit the left arrow key, and there we go. Our character now is animated from one position to a little bit further to the left. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that up for the right as well. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this action, get key down, copy it and paste it. Now, instead of getting key down for the left arrow, we want to do for the right arrow. And instead of sending an event of move left, we want to do a new event and have this be called move right. And then it's saying, hey, you don't have that transition. So let's go ahead and add that transition. And then we're going to do the same thing. If you hold down the command or control key, you can drag off to create a new state. And again, this one we want to call move right. There we go. And then what is it we want to do? Well, we're going to do the exact opposite of what we did in move left. So I'm going to go ahead and select the tween position, copy and paste that over into our move right state. And here, instead of moving to a world position of negative 0.5, we're going to have it be a positive 0.5. All right, so let's give that a test just to make sure that works. So we're going to have click on the right arrow, and our character moves over slightly to the right. So then the next thing that we need to do is once we're in this right position or the left position, we need to get back to the center. So how are we going to do that? Well, we already are listening for the input, and I misspelled that there of get key down. So we're going to go ahead and just copy one of those. So if we're in the right position, we want to copy the get key down left arrow. So I'm going to copy that one, put it into the right so we can close that tween position and paste that down. Then it's saying, hey, you don't have that that transition of move left. So let's go ahead and add it. And we have move left. Now I'm going to drag off to a new state again. So move left and we're going to call this move to center. Okay. So if we're in our right position, we want to move and we hit our left arrow, we want to move back to the center. Move center, we need to go ahead and do a tween position again. So I'm going to copy that tween position action paste that down into our move center. And then the position that we want to um, change it to is not to negative 0.5 or 0.5. We want the X to be zero, which is in the center. So we're going to go ahead and have zero in the X. And then that's going to allow our character to be back in the middle. Then once we've, once we are done doing that, we need to go ahead and go back to this main listening for input. 
So let's go ahead and add a transition of finished. And then we're just gonna drag that up into the start listening for input state, okay? Now that we've done that for the right, we need to also do that for the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the get key down right arrow. And then if we're in the very left-hand position, we wanna to move to the right. So let's go ahead and paste that get key down. And it's saying, hey, you don't have that transition. So let's go ahead and add it and move right. We're gonna click and drag down to the move center again. So if we're in the very left position, we wanna to move to the center. If we're in the very right position, we wanna to move to the center. And then once we're in the center, we wanna be able to move left or right. So let's give this a test to see if we did everything right. So I'm in the center, I hit my left key and I move left. If I'm on the left position, if I hit my right key, I go back to the center. If I hit my right key, I go back to the right. If I hit my left key, I go back to the center. So now I've got a nice little mechanic and I'm animating the character and I'm moving the, the position of the character. Hey again, I hope this was a great tutorial that you can use on your particular game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, peace.